Right, let's put one of these, uh, put one of these together. So I think with these ones, I want to put them track in the middle, like so. That's the conical one there. I don't know whether I regret doing this without grease, but. So make sure this uh, pivot is uh, really nicely in the pivot cup. Time for the king pins. Where are the king nuts? Right, they got a load to go on now. Do the other one. Cool, it's another one on. Right, so I've taken everything off the table. It is time to get off these, uh, get off the plate from the old skates. I've done a tear down on these skates already. Um, I'll put a little video up here, or a link to the video up here even, where I take apart these trucks completely, go over all the parts. Uh, it's got a fun bit of stop motion on it. Little pointy bits here, kingpins. And here we come with all the parts ready for a clean and a wax. And that'll show you how to take apart trucks if that's uh, if you want to go more into that. But I'm just going to take these off for now and cut to them being off the skates. Right, that's the last bolt off. So these will be no more. I'll keep using all the hardware and obviously I'll keep using the same here and everything. Cool. So I need the same bolts, but my understanding is that they're not gonna be in the same place. Let's have a look. Oh, they almost are as well. Let's see if they even go on. Doesn't look like it. I think I'm gonna have to undo the laces and uh, see what's going on down there. Might need to drill some new holes. Let's see if we can have a look in here. Let's get that insole up. That's tucked down quite good. That's what was in there. I think it's too wide. I don't know how they even got this front one in. That's all been stuck down again, hasn't it? Cool. All right, we've got those out. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. They're wider. If I go into this little box of bits I've got through. Will that work? Let's see what happens if I put them through here. That's where they came out of. It looks like they've got enough leeway in there to actually get it into the right place. You need to cut them down though. Oh, and they need a heel. So I put the heel on as well. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have mounted up the uh, trucks on here. There you go, if you're doing this at home, don't bother putting the trucks on straight away. So it looks like the holes should actually like directly register up, which is, sounds like a stroke of luck really. The ones that they drilled in here originally are quite big. Despite that, it's still very hard to get your fingers in. Well, there we go. I think it's time to put some uh, nuts on. Just gonna give these guys a little clean off. So I don't know if I wanna try screwing these on like this. Might just have to mark them up and cut them. Yeah, it's gonna take an age. Right, next plan. I've got a Dremel in the garage. So, I'll take these away and cut them down to size. So you wanna be about there. 
you want to be about there. I'll turn it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Cool. Right, I hope I haven't cut them too short. And I hope these burrs on the end aren't really too much of a problem. That's looking pretty good. And that will be nice. Right, with that, I reckon we're on. Yeah, they've got a little, little flathead inside these, these new bolts that I've got to show you. They've got a little flathead, but once they're down a little bit, these little, these little bits here cling on and stop it from turning too much, or turning in there. So you can just use the spanner after a certain point. Uh, pretty nice. I don't know if you can see the burrs on there, but basically where I cut them, they're not looking so pretty. So, I'm gonna go out to the Dremel again. I'll go out to where my Dremel's plugged in and just cut those down a little bit tidier. Look at that, much better. Nicer than they came originally, actually. Right, time to whack these trucks back on, I reckon. Right, time to put the wheels on. I was riding these the other day and I realized they weren't sounding very nice. So I had to change a few of these slime bearings out back to the old ones. The slimes went well, but just didn't last over time. So that one's still going fine. This one might be a bit crunchy. I know, we're all right. Anyway, putting the same wheels on, just so we can test them like for like. I just want to see what these, what difference these are. Thingies actually make these, tr these plates actually make on their own. I was going to use the same bushings, the same. Uh... Oh, I don't like that. So I had, sp had spaces on my old skates. Look, had these little washers, but with those on, I don't have enough thread for this to screw on. Go for big wheels that I have wheels that require a 10 millimeter spacer. So. Cool, that'll do for now. Let's put the rest of the wheels on. That's then more or less put back together, but needs to put some laces on, so I'll do that quick. Nice. That's more laced up. These laces are slightly shorter, so I'm not sure I'm gonna get the whole wrap, wrap around the back that I used to, but I don't think I need it either. Right. So that's one set with the new trucks. I think they look sick. One set with the old ones. So I mean, the main difference I would have thought would be weight. This one feels a little bit lighter, this one feels a little bit heavier, but I don't think there's much in it. I put together these ones, um, the spare one, just to see if to compare it to the old ones. We are carrying these with a toe stopper, but they almost feel exactly the same like this. So the difference really with these ones can be rigidity. It's got the ability to put the uh, grind plate on it and a nicer stopper with adjustable up and like, that I can adjust up and down. I'm taking it out for a skate now, just with one one new shoe on and one old shoe on. We'll see how that goes. We're out on the skates. First thought is they need adjusting. I really need to loosen up those kingpins. And they may need looser bushings or I might, might want to put the old bushings in, like the old cushions. Um, Cause I don't think I did them up that tight. Anyway, I got a skate tool in my back pocket, so uh, I'll take a look at doing that.
Well, this one skate feels really nice. Um, doesn't feel particularly different to the old one, but I do think it's a little bit lighter, and I do think that firmness makes it a bit, this metal, it's a bit more firm, and it's a bit more predictable, I suppose. Um, still feels slightly different to what used to be there. I mean, partially that's gonna be the kingpins and how tight or loose they are. Um, but yeah, it's nice. 95 quid, nice. I don't know, I might have tried the rock plate. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with them, I think they look sick. I'm gonna go home and put the other one on and then probably go for another skate. That's my other skate finished up. Really weird, this axle was tiny, so I had to put one of the old lock nuts, the old uh, nylock nuts back on, but the wrong way around, so that's weird. I think these are only eight millimeter spaces, so I hate to think what would happen if you had 10 mils. On another note, I've now got two plates to use at my discretion. So I might put these on some shoes. You know, I've got ideas for funny skate creations. I'm thinking Crocs. Whoa. Right, I'm off to, uh, to another skate spot. I'm driving over to this one, because it's down a big hill and I hate putting my, uh, I hate putting my skates over my shoulder when I'm riding a bike, because they just end up hitting you in the face and shit. Anyway, driving down to a cricket ground. I think there's a good bit of flat space there, so I'm gonna try and, uh, yeah, have a little play on the skates there. Cool, we're just gonna pull up and find the space. I mean, when you're riding a bike, you don't really take any notice of how rough the surface is, or how smooth it is. So, I think this is quite smooth, but I've never been here on skates, so that'll be the proof. Here we are. It's looking pretty good to me. Lovely evening for it. So that I'm putting the back stuff on. I don't know if I'm going to. I kind of want to learn to roll without it. Well, stop the that's it. But it's weird, weird it not being there when you think it is there. Instead, I got these toe stops on, which I'm not used to either. So I'll just stop them when I'm going backwards, and I don't need to. I suppose that's kind of good. Or I'll put the jam plugs on. Got something else for these, didn't I? Um, basically, these, I've changed the wheels now, it's a few days in the future. So, we've got these plates with these purple bushings in, these trucks with these pur purple bushings on. The website said they're 85A, all these skate shops says they're 85A. Um, but they feel really tough, and I like, I like them, I like my trucks to be tight, but these are so tough. I don't think it's a breaking in thing because I've been riding them a bit and they haven't got any better. So I ordered some new cushions. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Look at these stamps, by the way, aren't they whack? That's pretty cool. The eBay listing had become in a little box. I was quite looking forward to having a box to keep them all in. Anyway, they're independent. They're 78 durometer, 78A. So they should be really soft. They feel pretty soft. Um, like I was saying, I think those ones in there at the moment are 85A. That's what they're advertised at, which means that they're slightly harder than this. But some other websites I found said that the purple shore grips were 95A. So I don't know whether that's an error on the Oli skate shop side of things. Either way, we'll get them changed over and see what sort of difference it makes. Well, they fit. I was a little bit worried because the, the listing was like, Perfect fit for independent trucks, which is like the skateboarding brand, if you didn't know. They do feel pretty soft. They feel quite a lot softer than the other ones. I got the nuts on quite a lot. The other ones only got a couple of threads, and these ones are four or five. And I like the way they look. Because we got the red and white here, the white and red matches up nicely. Um, little things. All right, I got to do the other one, and I'll take them out and have a play. Cool, that's number two done. Um, I'll take them out for a skate in a bit and see how they are. Is it really lame that I'm disappointed this isn't a sticker? Because I wish I had a sticker to put on my helmet. Trying to test and it started raining. So, uh, well, you see, if I'm wearing different clothes, I'll have to go out on a different day. It's still raining a bit, but it doesn't look like the floor's wet. Right. 
think it stopped raining. Uh, I'm going to take a look at these bushings, see if they make much of a difference. Right, we are out here on a nasty basketball court. It's nicer, it is nicer, but it hasn't changed the bushings too much, it just means I can steer it nicer. Um, been a bit looser up and it feels a little bit more like the old ones. I ride around with this in my back pocket, but I don't feel like they need any adjustment. They feel really nice. I really rate these bushings. Can't say anything bad about the stock ones because bushings are like a person. They're bushings are a personal preference, so they don't really suit me. The stock ones for 95 quid would have been cool to get two or three sets to like play with, but not the end of the world. If I find something that I like, I stick with them, you know. And I like these ones. The thing about their shins is it's completely personal, personal preference. Some people want them tight, some people want them loose. It just depends on your skating style. If you're skating fast, having them tight is a benefit because it stops them wobbling around at high speeds. You don't need to turn as much when you're going fast either. Some people like them loose because they're going slowly, they're doing tricks, and it's important to them to have that like fine control. You know, to turn really sharp or something like that, rather than go fast and rather than worrying about speed wobbles. The other thing is weight. If you're really heavy, your harder bit harder bushings will feel the same as someone who's really light with soft bushings because your weight depends on how much they are. Heavier you are, the more they're gonna squeeze, the more they're gonna turn. I'd consider myself a heavier skater, but I'm not that heavy in the grand scheme of people, so. All right, the park is just filled with children and they're really loud as children are. I can't really tend to leave because they're playing in the playground. Um, that's what they're meant to do, and that's what playground's for. I'm gonna go back to the van to do a final review on this. I'll, I'll do it fresh. Um, <laughs> these, these are expensive. 95 quid is a lot of money for me, and I could have bought, it wouldn't take much more to buy a new pair of skates. Um, at the same time, I've upgraded mine, and these should last me a lot longer. Maybe I'll just need to change the boots in the future. So it's not really like that. They feel nice. They look nice. I like how they skate, especially with these new cushions. Um, but I can't really tell you what's too different from the old ones beyond my ability to add a grime rail. They're a bit firmer, they're tougher, they're made of stronger material. Um, but as far as my skating is concerned, I think it's basically, it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. Um, either way, Happy to buy them and it means these will last me long into the future, hopefully. And they, they just look cool. I'm happy I bought them just because they look cool. Um, oh, and these stoppers as well. I think these stoppers are better. Potentially the more honest review is they're nice, they're cool, they look good, but I'm probably not a good enough skater at the moment to actually tell the difference in my ability or to actually tell the difference in my skating. So for all intents and purposes, I may as well not have upgraded. But I reckon there's a day in the future where I might do. As far as I'm concerned, I'm still a beginner skater. Um, maybe just crossing the boundary to intermediate, but yeah, I'm relatively early days, so I can't tell the difference. If you're a beginner skater, you may not either. One other thing to mention, I mentioned earlier on when I was putting the old Airwave wheels on that the axles didn't fit very well. Uh, I didn't realise at the time, but the Airwaves were 10mm spacer wheels and these Sim Street Snakes I've got on now are 8mm wheels. These ones fit a lot better, however, I still think there's a bit of an issue with the axle. So that one hardly even goes onto the nylon, whereas the one on the other side got loads of space. So yeah, I'm just not sure about that axle. I might message Ollie's skate shop and see what they say, see if I can get a new uh, hanger. Because that just doesn't look right to me. And I've got, I have to put that nut on backwards if I use those airwaves again. Um, that's the end of my video. I'm gonna leave you to it. Any questions, drop them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.